some of them were really wolves. And uh, it was tough, but I, I maintained my strength. Pramod Savadar, honorable chief yeah. minister, one of the most innocent souls that I know. I think at some point he was losing his innocence. I think we all have to be taught in school itself to have faith. Faith can move mountains is a huge, huge statement. Welcome back to another episode of Popcorn with You, where we dwell into the life and journey of extraordinary individuals who have left magnificent mark on this world. I'm your host Priyanka Nagasai, and today we have the privilege of sitting down with a renowned singer, lyricist, performer, and the queen of Goan music, the one and only Hema Sardesai. She has not only made an incredible mark on the cultural landscape of Goa, but she has also left more than 100 soulful tunes in Bollywood and even took a stroll down in Hollywood. Apart from that, she also works for the betterment of society, be it Save the Girl Child Movement or Me Too Movement. Her contribution is undeniable. So join me as I sit down to unravel the fascinating journey of this artist who mixes the vibes of Go with Bollywood Grid. Welcome to the show, Hema Man. So, how have you been doing lately? What keeps the queen of Govan music busy these days? Oh, first of all, that was such a touching introduction. Thank you so much, Priyanka. It's always great to be interviewed or uh, talked to by young Goan talent like you guys. And I'm happy to be here. And yeah, life is treating me okay. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on the show, ma. Thank you. So let's start with talking about your musical journey in the beginning. And then we'll move ahead to talk about your social work and all the other contributions, whatever you have done. Okay. So... Matt, can you show your earliest memory of getting into singing? Like, how did it all begin? Although I've said this, like, maybe more than thousands of times, but I'll say it to you again. But yes, I was discovered by my late uh, teacher, Mrs. Sequeira, in school, yeah. uh, when I was just six years old. <clears throat> and then I went on to singing in public at the, there was a good job to Samaj in Goa, if you yes. remember, for the Navratri festival, like all other kids. And all these were discoveries of these uh, great people who told my parents, she's an artist and she's going to make you very proud one day. And then they got me to enter this uh, All Goa Swing Contest where I won the first prize. Then it was first prize, first prize always. <clears throat> and then I went on to winning. Actually, while I was still studying, I went on to winning the Grand Prix in Germany where I was competing with 21 countries. That's it. And I was representing Goa. Yeah. And sorry, I was representing India. India. Yeah. And um, was right there in the heart. And the PTI sent the news. I was also audience darling there. The PTI sent news all over the world, you know, that uh, Indian singer wins the first prize. So that was a pride for India. But I thought it would be easy to walk into Bollywood after that. But that's another story they have to tell you. Actually, my <laughs> second question is based on your Bollywood journey. Of Seriously. Yeah. Yes. But your journey actually sounds fascinating. So, being a young girl from Goa, was it difficult for you to get into the film industry and be a playback singer and to create your own identity? <clears throat> what were your early day struggles? Like, did you have to go through several auditions? What is it? I had won the Grand Prix in Germany, so yes. obviously there were people who approached me because of that. But it wasn't going to be that easy. <clears throat> when I went there, <clears throat> they liked my voice immediately when I sang. They said, Oh my God, I Germany and all. They were endorsing everything. But then the proposal would come or compromising your values, your principles, the casting cast, etc. And I would walk out. And I would walk out. And I would walk out. And I was getting really fed up. I was getting a little frustrated because yeah. after winning the Grand Prix, what else they want, man? They're saying I've got a great voice. They're saying she's different, she's special, she's original. They were saying such good things about me. 
And then there was that proposal and I was not going to compromise. I promised my parents I would keep their respect at the highest. And so it was a very painful journey because of that. But I kept surviving because people like Louis Dines, like Joy Augustine, people like um, Ranjit Parot, they would give me jingles and stuff like that. <clears throat> and I wanted to be a self-made girl, so I didn't want to take money from my parents. So I survived in Mumbai like that. On your own? On my own. It was a very, very tough journey. It was overprotected all my life yes. by my parents because I was known in Goa, in Panjim my home city, as the most naughtiest child of the neighborhood. <laughs> so it was endorsed big time by everybody, even in school. I, in a co-ed school, I was the naughtiest child. Okay. So, so then, <laughs> that's why I overprotected. Yes. But then I'm, I'm thrown to these so-called, uh, some of them were really old. And uh, it was tough, but I, I maintained my strength. And... We yeah, are said no. So what if the legends? I was told, "Are the most big singers have done it? The legends have done it. You are up on the sky. I was just saying, shy. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to do it. And I would walk off, you know, dignified. But one day I was like really upset because I had had a ligament tear and I was losing hope. And that's when the turn came. Something that I want to tell all you young people of. My country, mm -hmm. that the surrender to the divine is so important. Who gave you the voice? Who gave you the talent? Yes. Whatever talent you all have is given by something, some power, maybe inside you, maybe outside you, where, you know. So we are, the whole world is still in ignorance on what is the divine and what is God. No, I, I, I have a question based on that. So what is your definition of God? How would you define it? Everyone has their own image, right? Yes. So uh, my definition of God I understood God, I would say that's a better way of putting it. I understood God when I met my Gurudev, uh, Puji Shri Shri Gurudev, or Ravi Shandu. Yes. Or uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shandu. And he was what I'm still here on this earth, despite all the ups and downs that a human goes through, only and only because of him. You? Yeah, because I've taken up very, very uh, fearless, like uh, fearful, very fearful, very uh, terrifying issues for people. I've always stood in front and taken the brunt of it. I have, uh, and I've always been brave and I'm, I'm surprised I'm alive despite of all that. I still am doing the same if you have noticed. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, so for me, my definition right now in life, I think henceforth is going to be my good definition. is my divine. And everything. More so, I look up at what he speaks, and he says we have to rise above religion and be one, one world, one family. And that's what Hema is living for, basically, to work on the one world family dream of my Gurudev and to put a smile on everybody's face and make sure the children of my country are never shy anymore, like they were when the Mughals came and the British came, and they made them shy even after that. They didn't move, so I want my the children of my country, who are the most, for me, the most intelligent in the world, the awesome. most brilliant in the world, all of India. Okay. Goans have so much love in them, and then mixed with the brilliance, you can do so much. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I just want that shyness to charitri, what you say, charitri, or whatever. Be beside your values, principles, and your virtues. That's all you don't need to, need to be shy about. Definitely. You know? And because you have mentioned about values and because you know you are someone who has experienced what it is to have power. I have mm. this question coming up. What role do you think people with power play in addressing issues related to gender or well-being of girls or in that case addressing any social issue? Also asking because you have handled something like casting couch in film industry. The people who are involved they also had power. They are the collective of society. Common men look up to them. So in that case, what do you think about the people who have power? How do they, how do they have to handle such issues? A beginner, especially, yeah. uh, is faced with all this. It's not only in Bollywood, it's in every industry. Yeah. Okay. It depends on how weak and strong you are and how much you have belief. 
I think we all have to be taught and schooled itself to our faith. Faith can move mountains is a huge, huge statement and it is very true and I'm an example of it. Surrender is the second word. One is faith, the second is surrender. We are so smart, we've been given intelligence and we think we can handle all the stress, we can, we can handle everything that is there in our lives. But constant surrender has to happen yes. to the divine. You have to constantly say, this is what I'm doing. I've done my best. Now you take care and take off that stress and be confident. Be confident that this is going to definitely manifest. You know, so, but, but have no, if you have even slight fear about it happening, you're stopping your growth. You have a lot of stress. Oh my God, is this going to happen? Questions are going to stop your growth. Believe. You have to believe. You have to manifest. You have to look at yourself there and say that, you know, thank you to the universe, to the divine, that I can see myself there. The universe has to do it for you. When your divine connection sounds positive, <laughs> thank you. So can you share a personal aspect or a story or an incident that inspired you or that cured your passion for working for the betterment of society? No, I was a sin before. Uh, I've always been a person who's concerned since, about uh, since I was I used to fight for my friends in school if somebody uh, messed with them or teased them, I used to fight for my sister. I used to fight for my friends in college. Everybody knows that. And it didn't matter. Then if it was a teacher, I was questioning. But I questioned. And uh, I couldn't bear injustice from childhood. There were times when I could see my friends who had brothers. I didn't have an, a yeah. brother. And I had friends who had uh, brothers and their, their mothers were, our parents were not treating the girl as well as they were treating the son. And that was really hurting for me. Yeah. And I would talk to them. So I would say, why, why are you doing that? You know, I would, yeah. even as a child, I question injustice. So I walked very naturally into saving the culture. Oh, so these qualities were in my... In, in my, life, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it was not brought in. I, I was made like that. So, so that's why they say that nobody's really bad. Yeah. It's what you come with, with your karmas to this earth. So you, you cannot hurt so much as we do over people's ways yes. because they are not, they can't help themselves. You know, it's so sad. Some of us are just made to do work for society. Yes. Some of us, we try to change them, but somehow karma keeps them where they are. Uh, Mom, you made your grand debut into Hollywood in 2017 with your song, Power of Love. Now that you have worked with both Hollywood as well as with the Bollywood, how are the working style different in two of them? I'll tell you the beauty of what I've done in both of them. If you ask anybody in Bollywood today, you know, you must have heard of people actually saving the respect of ladies. Yes. I have saved the respect today of two men in life. One is music director in Bollywood. And one is a minister. No. You know, I have, women should have the power, the respect of men also up. You know what I mean? Yes. And I won't go into detail on that, but if you ask anybody in Bollywood today about me, they will definitely have the highest of words, greatest of praise to say. And that is, for me, the greatest of awards. Although God has bestowed me with a lot of awards in life, especially I, Look up, of course, at the Grand Prix and all in Germany. That was all fine, winning so many awards, interstate and all in music and Goa. But what was most important is when two former chief justices of India, yes. when former judge and people of that level said unanimously she should be given the Champions of Change Award. There is no one else we can think of. That's when you know you've achieved Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, your journey is actually seems inspiring for any young singers who will be looking up to this video. I can assure you that they will be inspired by your work, especially the women, because you stand for women more. You have maintained that chastity. Yeah. So from Bollywood to Hollywood, that I was just telling you, so Bollywood has that highest level of respect for me. But when I went to Hollywood, you know, I have worked with the man who is the publisher of Ed Sheeran's Shape of You. He's won the Grammy as publisher yes. of Ed Sheeran's, one of the biggest songs of 
today yeah. and yeah. it's still so much love. And he invested in me. There is no singer of India where Hollywood can be like a music global, like Tony Mercedes has invested in a singer of India. And he said, he recorded in a studio where Michael Jackson himself recorded the songs, his songs, yeah. Elite Michael Jackson. And then we were in New York at the press meet and he said, I worked with Shakira, I worked with Pink, I worked with Beyonce, I worked with them all. But he must have decided she's not just a magnificent singer, she's a great human being and I respect her. That's good. So for me, those are like huge awards yes. uh, yeah. from, from industries where, you know, Me Too movement works. I don't really believe, you know, in the Me Too movement. I started a movement like that yeah. 23 years ago. Yes. And it was just shut off because everybody was doing this nonsense yeah. and they didn't want to hear of it. Yes. And, uh, but Me Too movement came mostly from women who have already done, uh, you who have succumbed to the casting belt. So you already did that. So what are you complaining about? Say, I am the worst woman. Yeah. And that man is worse to have asked me to become the worst. Blame yourself too. It's not just about the men. Definitely. You know, so I'm very clear about these things. Yeah. So mom, did your life change in any manner after getting this word by recognition? Uh, no. The greatest compliment for me in life is when everybody says, she's so down to earth. She's so normal. She's so humble. She's so, I mean, who are you? Who are we? We're just what the divine decided. We, we're going to be, the divine has to show off, not us. See, I made this. <laughs> I did this. Yes. I created this. So it's, it's for the divine to show off. We just have to, people who work for others, we have no time to show off. <laughs> Mom, so because you are someone from music industry, I would want to know your definition of music. What does music mean to you? How would you define it? I read music, love music, but you'll be amazed to know I sing and I sing and I sing and I sing, but I am more of a dancer. Are you serious? I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I survived the greatest trauma that I went through in the, in the, before the last three years. Greatest trauma in my life I survived to dancing and singing, which is what my Gurudev Shrishan says to everybody. Every day you have to dance and sing. And I literally did that and that has uh, really helped me survive. I think uh, they asked me recently, ma'am, we want you to come into politics and we want you to be the minister. I said, all of you will be dancing on the roads in your offices <laughs> everywhere where you are because it's a stress free thing. And we, what's the shyness for? We all belong to each other, says Gurudev Shri. We are here at this time uh, in, this, in this earth together. Yes. In another hundred years, there'll be another set of people. Before hundred years, there was another set of So let's celebrate each other, no? Yes, definitely. Yeah, and no need of shyness, no need of other. I know you are in Maji family, Maji. Just sit with your own little this. If you ask Gurudev, he says, I'm sorry, that family doesn't really exist. They're all come to take karmas from each other. That's why they become brother, sister, yeah. husband, wife, child, whatever. They're only karmas. The one who's your family is the one who you're really comfortable with. And that could be your family. Definitely. Dance. When you dance yeah. and sing, you come to the present moment. Yes. When you come to the present moment, there's zero stress. When there's zero stress, what happens is, the cells of the body start rejuvenating. They get a chance to relax. They get a chance to breathe. They get a chance to chill, basically. So you're very rejuvenating. And so the stress cells are from where diseases come. So you de-stress yourselves through dancing and singing. And nobody knows the value of this as much as Gurudev Shri Shri says it should be. They don't understand. I think that's the beauty of this art, right? Mm. Whether it's singing, dancing, like they connect people, but whereas something like politics or religion or caste, these are being used to divide people. Wow. I am so impressed. Priyanka, so impressed. If you really believe that, then you are not just above Mandir. Good ma'am. So ma'am, my personal favorite song of yours is Babel Ke Pao Mein. Okay, instead of saying it's my personal favorite song, I think the best way to say it is that India is one of the top most inspirational songs because it has that timeless appeal. Before I go with the question, I'll share one of my personal incidents with regard to this song. 
So I use this song as a power of upliftment. So whenever I'm in the state of dilemma, like I'm confused, what to do, whether I will, okay, when I was coming up with the whole concept of this pop one with you, I didn't know how people are going to react to it. There was one song I was continuously humming. It was this one. Every time, like whenever I used to sing this song, actually I am not good at singing, to be honest. It's not my cup of tea. Sing in front of me, no problem. Yeah, definitely. Once we are done with the show, but yeah. So every time, but I have this tendency of humming depending on my. So this is my personal connection with the song, and this is just one situation. But every, I think I have been growing up in that era of this song. So when I was in school, it has been played. Coming from all girls' school, this was one of the most commonly played songs, and I used to remember the lyric. So every time, whenever I was in the state of dilemma, I used to go back to. <laughs> so being the singer of this song, Adil Di Pawne, what does this song mean to you as an artist? Do you have any personal connection? Amazingly, we had this. Uh, there was this session where we were in top of the singers were there with me, and they were all asked to sing inspirational songs. And somehow, I had the most inspirational yes. song. Me. So, if God see, that's where the divine steps in, right? You can't say no to a casting couch and get more than hundred songs in Bollywood. And if each song today is still love, it says, "Ish Chandi hai, Ish Kason, Ish Kasona hai." Jan Jangal Yadi Dar Thay Jan Ham Samjha Karo. I'm the only one who sang with Shahrukh Khan. Ji, Apun Bola. I'm the only one who sang with Amitabh Bachchan Ji. The two superstars, yeah. Chali Chali from Bagpan and my kudi Anjani Badal Pe Paon Yar Bina Chain Kahare. So all these songs come to you, especially Badal Pe Paon, because the divine is already getting work done by you. Yeah. So those songs will come your way. Everything is given by the universe, which is. The divine part, the universe. The more you surrender, the more you get. My life. If I said I'm going to get this, I always got what the divine. Everything was gifted to me, literally. It's not something I needed to grab. I needed because there was faith, there was surrender. It's very tough to do that, but when you do that, you win. Ma, this conversation is really getting insightful. I'm definitely getting to learn a lot. So. Uh, but would you mind singing a few lines from the song Badal Ke Paan? Yeah, especially yeah. for you. That's what the girls are there. Socha gaa 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 अब तो भाई चल पड़ी प्रियंका और सारे लड़कियों की नाव है ओ सर सिंह टुगेदर ओ हो वो हो हो शाइनेस नो कम ऑन ओ वो ओ ओ ओ मैम योर वॉइस इज लवली इट्स ब्यूटीफुल इट्स सुदर्शन Okay, if a kid want to be future famous celebrity, what would you tell to that kid? Be greater than me. <laughs> That's a solid advice. <laughs> okay, ma'am, do you believe that luck plays a crucial role in your success? Luck is the divine. Surrendering to the divine is where your luck comes. It's not about I can do this. The divine will do it for me. Divine is doing it for me. Actually, the word will also should not come. Will do it? No. Divine is doing it for me. I can see it happening. I could see myself in the industry. I could see myself in Hollywood. I could see. I just manifested all of it. Ma, what about hard work? I'm glad you asked me this question. It was very important after all that said. So I'm done all of it. Your focus and dedication has to be one hundred percent. There's no such thing as I don't do hard work. That's ain't gonna work. So it's more. It's like yeah. You also... give your entire focus, dedication, and your hard work has to be complete. The success story, what the culmination of that is going to be, is what God will listen. Okay, so you have to give your hundred percent. You have to give your hundred percent. And the one part of it. No, the other ones are lazy. Simple. Laziness ain't gonna work. Definitely. Well. 
Well, now that the whole AI single concept is coming up, what do you think about this autotune era? Do you think it will affect the established single or the body single studio in any way? Oh, it has affected. It has affected big time. We spoke about something like this yesterday also. Uh, well, autotune is very, very painful. Because there are really sing- good singers out there and it's a cruel app. I mean, it's, it's a very cruel app. It's a very cruel thing that downloads are for free with so many beautiful voices. Yeah. So we used to get paid for our music. Yeah. We used to get, you know, we used to earn really very, very well even recording and releasing our songs. Today that doesn't happen. If your song works, then, you know, a lot of PR, this, that and everything. And then, you know, you get shows and that's how you make yeah. your money. But how many people reach there? Yeah. You know, so it's a very, very sad thing. It's a it's cruel app. But at the same time, it's cruel because you use it professionally to make it big. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a fun app. If everybody wants to sound good, yeah. it's cute. Yeah. But it's cruel only when somebody's earning is stopped because of competition with that. But I think that, the, like I said, with faith, surrender, with, with that attitude in you, that, that, that confidence uh, and complete uh, belief in yourself and what divine has given you, I think you can achieve any which ways. Out of tune or no, whatever. Like you can surpass this order, achieve your, whatever you desire. Yes. You are divine journey, right? Yes, yes. So now any advice for the young singers of the country and also for those who do not uh, choose to pursue music their career in the fear of failure. Yeah. So for all the kids of the country who are going to the music, I'd like to say that uh, all these things which I said, have faith in the talent that you've got, be confident, you know, surrender when you have to surrender, have the attitude and, you know, believe with what the divine has given you and see and manifest your whole thing. Don't say, I will make it. Say, I can see myself making it. These are all, you know, jadu magic words yes. that you can use and you can really do up your life. At the same time, your conscience inside is the most of all my interview. All this, the conscience has to manifest, okay? Not your mouth, not your spoken words or your thoughts. It's your conscience, which is the stronger. What your conscience wants will happen <laughs> Ma, I just have this question popping up right now. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have self doubt, like whether you have it or not? Or, like, was it always you had manifested it? Like, you will somehow get it. Or, like, there was a time where you had self doubt? That's a beautiful question. You never had thought. Never had thought. Overconfident in that in that area of music. Yes, I used to sit outside the veranda of my house as a child, and it's it's that para, you know, like everybody sleeps in Goa. You all have little siestas, but I used to sing out loud to the thunder atmosphere of the truly peaceful as one. Most of I would sing out loudly, and I would think like the whole world is listening to me, and everybody loves what I'm singing. And my parents would say, "You're waking up everybody." Neighbors would say, but I had this stuff, you know, it's so yeah. nice when she's singing and we are, you know, we feel good. So from there came that confidence that, you know, that when I sing, everybody hears me. When I sing, everybody loves me. When I sing, everybody will want to do something and want to listen to me more. It's something that has always been there. How does a girl who doesn't do the casting out make it in Hollywood with hundred and more songs, man? Right? Yeah. Goes to Hollywood. Bollywood and Hollywood. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> now, can hear your song, Power of Love, yeah. reflects your personality. You believe in spreading love to the world. Yeah. Actually, when I did this song, Tony was saying, he said to me, oh man, yeah, ain't going to work because we need something that is like sexy. We need something that's hot. And, and this this is like, uh, he said, my work is to get people out of depression. As to get people confident. So that every word of power of love is is saying that to our young youth. Everyone should hear the power of love on YouTube. And uh, you have to put your mouth because there are many yeah. power of loves. And you have to hear every word and invite that in your sense. Mm-hmm. And you see and watch yourself go. So the song actually even changed the mind of the music mogul of Hollywood. Yeah. He was kind enough to accept that. So he calls me angel. <laughs> 
Well, so would you like to sing a few lines as we end this podcast? Yeah. I'm not saying, not an angel, but there's only one thing that I never tell the world. And I don't mind if somebody calls me 65 years old and 70 years old and even I'm here marks eternally. But I've, if anything that I ever hid or didn't tell is my age. <laughs> and I don't think Paramahos Yogananda says that. He says, nobody deserves to hear your age unless, unless you're entering a contest or, you know, you're, you can't cheat somebody with your age. But Definitely. you can say whatever you want. You can feel whatever age to all the people who are above 60 or 70. I want to say, you feel young, that is your age. Okay, so always be young, always be like a child and always have the joy inside you and don't lose your innocence. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I've seen even the top guys of Goa. Yes. Um, I would also like to especially talk about I'm sorry if you want to cut this out, no. it's okay. Dr. Pramod Savadar, Honorable Chief yes. Minister, one of the most innocent souls that I know. Personally, I know him as the most innocent soul, very loving, very straightforward, very open in whatever he's saying. I think at some point he's losing his innocence. And as a mother, he's probably mother of all the public children. And as a mother, I do worry for Goa because of that. Because he's at the helm of affairs. So I think he shouldn't, he should come back to his innocence. And because fame, power, can very, very destructive. Everyone who's out there ruling Goa, whether they're making it big or whatever, don't lose your innocence. The ones in the villages are losing their innocence because there are committees being formed because of land rate increase, you know, where everybody's going to make money. Yeah. So they're losing it. Can we do it in a, in a nicer way? Can we do it in a more where the innocence is not lost? So, ma'am, would you like to sing a few lines of your song, Power Love? Yeah. Feet on the ground, moving forward. Hold your head high, stronger and stronger. No hit of war. That, that's, um, then it goes, Power of love, shower in love. And it forever, heart, body, and soul. Tell yourself a thousand times you're the winner. Ma'am, your voice is so beautiful. Thank it you. is so touching, so soothing. And equally beautiful are your thoughts. They are highly insightful. Thank you for joining us today and sharing your incredible journey with us. Thank you. You it touched me been... with your words. And I can see a, a, so much of growth of spirituality in you. Thank uh, invite it to your friends and anytime you want to interact with me on spirituality, I'll be very happy to. Thank you. This is our first minute, but I think I can vibe with you. I can connect with you. So you. I want to have you as my guest again. And I also want to know you personally. Yes, we're friends. Sure. For sure. <laughs> thank sure. So thank you for joining. Such a pleasure, sweetheart. God bless you. And may you shine. And I wish you and your team the very best always. A lot of Ashibad from me, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you, listeners, for joining in to Popcorn with Pew. I hope you have enjoyed this deep dive into the world of art and music. If you have liked what you have heard, then please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your family. Until the next episode, this Priyanka Naik Desai is signing off. Thank you.